hey, I'm running DayZ on Linux, and it is running very well, and I wanted to just show you. Um, DayZ on Linux works through Steam, but you do have to use an alternative launcher. I think it's called DZ GUI, I believe. I, I might have that wrong. I apologize, but I will put the link in the description of the video so you can check it out. But um, the game is very stable. There was an update recently, kind of a weird update, a major update to Daisy, and it did cause some crashing. Everybody was crashing. The server was crashing too. By the way, this is a PVE server. There's no killing, no looting of bases, right? Um, so it's really cool. Very nice people. But um, this is uh, by Archon. It's a Archon server. And it's based in the UK. I'm in Arkansas. So, um, but the latency is not that bad. Okay, sometimes it's bad. But look, I get used to it. It's worth it because the people are really nice. So, um, all in all, I would definitely recommend it. By the way, this is Santa, if you've never seen this. Now, this has already been looted. Uh, when I logged in, I saw a helicopter fly over and I knew. Whoop, whoop, a little bit bouncy. So, yeah, there you go. Okay, so we're going to look around. Now, my encoder does suck. And so you're going to see some little artifacts and whatnot. But the game itself doesn't... I, have, I don't see any artifacts in the game. It's really just really smooth gameplay. And I have, um, oh, oh, sorry. I've already been to this heli. This is a, this is a helicopter crash, but I've already looted that. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at my graphics real quick. They are on pretty high, extreme. Some of these I don't need, so I put them on low. I don't notice the difference. <clears throat> so there you go. But the game, very stable. I noticed that my Windows uh, friends, uh, their game crashes. Whereas mine does not. So that is a little tidbit of information for you. Um, yeah, the game runs really smooth. Now, let me tell you about the alternative launcher. And, and that's unfor unfortunate. There are two games that that require an alternative launcher to work in Linux that I have. One, Daisy. The launcher is very easy to install. I've talked to the developer. He's super, super nice guy. Very helpful. And I really appreciate what he does. Uh, the other is Star Citizen. So one Steam game, one not Steam game. Both, however, both, like Daisy is on Steam. Oh, I apologize. Um, I need to mention this. DayZ works fine without the alternative launcher, unless you want to go on a modded server. Do you see? If you're just playing vanilla, you're fine. You don't have to mess around with anything. If that's if that's your thing. Um, however, I'm on a modded server, and the mods will not load correctly without the launcher. And that is just the way it is. But the launcher is easy to install. I put the link below for you. And you'll be set. Now, Star Citizen, it's a little bit more complicated. But um, that launcher... Oh, 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 oh. Ambulance. We got an ambulance. I have not seen this ambulance. This is my one of my favorite things to loot for some reason. I don't know why. It just seems like the loot is really good. I'll turn up the sound when I actually land. Boy, I'm really flying pretty bizarre. I'm trying to think what else you want to know about Linux. I'll try to answer questions if you're stuck. Remember, with Linux and gaming, it's important to have the latest graphic libraries. You know, for instance, uh, you're going to want the newest version of Mesa. 
with that. Oh, I'm not gonna use my fist. Come on now. Wait, we don't need that gun. We need this. Um. What? Jackass. So. So the alternative launcher should be very easy to sort out for Daisy. And the game is very stable. More so than the Windows people. Alright. I'm really making a big claim here. But my squad, they have Windows 10 and Windows 11. And they're, it does seem like they're crashing all the time. At least once a week, one of them crashes. The game crashes. Okay, and mine doesn't. Mine did when there was this major update to DayZ. Server crashed. My game crashed. Theirs crashed. But since that got fixed, it's been alright. Oh, and some douchebag was uh, DDoSing the server. And that actually caused my client to crash too. Now, when I say crash, I mean just the game. Just the game, not the computer. I didn't have to restart. Generally, if you're a Linux gamer, you're playing the game, the game crashes, which again, it does seem like it's more rare. Um, you won't, it, the whole computer won't crash, usually. You know, my game might have been crashing because my NVM drive was going bad. I just realized that. Yeah, my NVM was going bad and it was like I was seeing little glitches on the screen and I thought my GPU was going bad. But no, nope, it was the NVM and it completely died. And I don't know why I didn't figure it out. So I ended up losing some data. Whatever. And it was a Samsung too. What the hell? Okay, just just uh, one other point here. My old system was a 5800X, same GPU. It ran just as well. Uh, you won't need a lot to run this uh, game on Macs. And you and Linux, same thing. So I want you to just you know think about that. Good game. This is a good game. Pretty good game. On Linux, it is awesome. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, well there you have it. Look look how beautiful that is. Again, you're going to see some blurry because of the encoder. On my end, this is really sharp. Really sharp and beautiful. A very, very good game. So don't be afraid to try Linux out on, you know, Linux gaming. Uh, a lot of people tell me, oh, I was thinking about getting into Linux gaming. I want to game on Linux. I think it'd be cool. You know, do it. Um, there will be a learning curve, but don't worry. You learn it as you go. And if you pick a popular distribution, my God, you're going to have, like, Google search everywhere for every problem that you have. Everything. Absolutely everything. Also, AI can help you. You can ask AI, hey, how do I do this? Okay, it's going to tell you really fast. Blah, 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 blah. Done. So, uh, and you can dual boot. It's not like you're giving up Windows. You're not saying, hey, I, I will never touch Windows again. No, you can bounce back and forth. You can dual boot. I wish I could show you, but I uh, I don't have a hardware encoder, so I can't can't really show you that. But, you know, um, you get the idea. You get the idea. So, um, Linux is definitely uh, good to game with. I think Gabe Newell of Valve, I think he said Linux is the future of gaming. I believe, I believe he said that word for word. And he would know. And you know what? The Steam Deck does run Linux. So if you have a Steam Deck, you are a Linux gamer. Congrats. Okay. Hey, thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, uh, put them in the comments and I'll try to help out or I'll, you know, steer you in the right direction. 
but thank you for watching. Have a good one.